to today's video today i will be reviewing slash opening unboxing <laughs> um this every stage deluxe even flow car seat it's three seats all in one and it'll last your kid from four pounds all the way to 120 so if you want to see the review on this beautiful even flow car seat that I spent my coins on, then continue watching. So this car seat claims to be three seats all in one. And pretty much what attracted us to it is that it goes all the way up to 120 pounds. Really, in reality, we should have probably got this when he was born and just gotten another stroller. But we didn't really know much about that stuff when we were first having a baby. So we got a trial system inside, which I don't think was a bad investment, although it is broken now. So we have to figure that out. Probably do this car seat and just get a new stroller or something. That's not like a, because we have another stroller, but it's like a lightweight, compact type of stroller. We need one that's like good for baby. And then we might look into something like if we were to have more kids, like, I don't know, something that might a a grow and adjust with, with the kids or multiple kids. I don't know. So moving on from that, um, I just wanted to get into this box, but it does say that it is convertible easy click let me see i can't I think i'm on the wrong side <laughs> infant convertible booster <laughs> plus booster safe and secure for 10 years of use easy click installation three times tighter for a wiggle free seat simply click the latches into your vehicle anchors and crank the handle to tighten no need for pushing the seat or using extra force. Unique in-seat recline comfortably angles infant to help minimize head slump and keep airway open, which is something that's really big um, for infants. I mean, as well as older babies, but infants it's really important for. Rear-facing rear longer up to 50 pounds. Extra built-in space allows your child to ride rear-facing longer without extended, without extending the seat or cramping other passengers. So that is something that I did research on, and I learned that as long as you can rear-face your child, the better. So that the fact that this goes up to 50 pounds um, for that is amazing. So your child will be able to rear-face for as long as possible. Um, it is easy to clean. It's machine washable. It has a machine washable sheet, uh, seat pad and two removable dishwasher safe cup holders. Um, 10 total seat positions, one hand, no rethread hardness, easy to read bead level five recline positions, energy absorbing base. So this thing, it just comes with a lot of stuff. It's a really decent car seat. Um, the reviews reflect that and it looks just way more comfortable than his other car seat. Um, so I'm going to open this and then I'm going to compare it to the car seat that we have now. Like I said, that's a part of a travel system, so it's a little different, but I'm going to do that. So let me just open this. Wow, this is really nice. Rollover tested, side impact tested. They need a lot of air, airline compatible, so that's really cool. I feel a lot of testing on this. I don't even know how half you guys do it, like traveling with babies on the plane. Because it just seems like a lot of confusion, like a lot of things that could go wrong. <laughs> the baby could cry the whole time, freaking. Like if you bring breast milk, I know they like honor a lot of this stuff, but it's just a lot. I feel like you have to learn. And, go through this thing is heavy dang i saw a pregnant lady uh unboxing one of these <laughs> she she just looked like she was struggling wow this thing is huge do you see how massive this thing is hold on let me just 
lower the camera so you guys can see. This thing is massive. Look at that. He'll be comfortable in this thing until he's like 30. <laughs> Do you see how big this thing is? I can sit in it and be comfortable. Anyway, I guess these are the cup holders here. So I'm just gonna put these where they go. Um, as he grows, he's gonna want little snacks in his little cup. So we could put the snacks in there and let him sit in there. Or we could just get him like, he might have like a juice or something like that we just put it in the cup holder. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, um, it comes with a little hand flip on how to do stuff, which I think is very important because honestly, this is a little confusing to me just from watching the videos. But I thought like car seats in general were confusing, so that's just me, maybe that's just me. Um, these cup holders look like a decent size. There's like a lot of stuff to fit in there. Let me see something. I mean, not that you're gonna be putting a whole puff container, but wow, if you wanted to, it definitely fits in there. So that's cool. Um, da -da 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 -da. It just has directions pretty much on each way, and it tells you how long you can stay having a child sit in each way. So rear facing, four to 50 pounds and about forward facing with the harness is gonna be from about 10 to, or 22 to 65 pounds. And the booster is gonna be from about 40 to 120 pounds. So, um, rear facing, or forward facing with harness is at least two years old. They have to be. Booster is at least four years old, so. That is that. This is gonna be lasting a really long while. All the baby products come with this um, thing. I think it's just, I forget. I think this is just like, if there's a recall or something, you send this in and they'll give you a notification. So that's good that it comes with it. Wow, it is huge. How do you make it smaller? Do you make it small? I don't even know how to work this thing. I want to do it for him in his stage now, and he will be rear facing still. So, I guess there's something under here that reclines it. I don't know. I'm just taking a guess. Probably shouldn't be taking a guess. Probably should be looking at it. The instructions, all right, let me, just, let me just look at this and figure it out really quick and then I will be back to show you guys the comparison to our other travel system car seat and also be back to show you guys the baby in the car seat and so you guys can see how he's doing. So guys, pretty much it just told me to remove this and I did that by grabbing this red string, I believe, something like that. I'm just, these things are just complicated for me. I don't know why. Justin can probably figure it out in like a few seconds. You won't get a big room. No. Right. Infants may have difficulty breathing when in upright seated position. Make sure they recline enough for their head to lay back comfortably and safely. Failure to properly recline the child restraint could increase the child's risk of serious injury or death. Wow. 
just like this, it's reclining. All the way back? Yeah. But it says you can put it in... Well, I guess that's position two. Yeah, he's really small, so this is good. Or do you do position three? That's for if he's bigger, he's not that big. Well, how do we know which one? He's not that big. They want his head to be leaning back and bigger to set up. I know, but I'm trying to figure out how do we know which one. Oh, okay, so that's one. Wow, look at how far up that is. That's one. That's two. That's three. Wow, so I think we'll be good on, well, I don't know which one right now, but <laughs> I'll figure it out. Make sure the vehicle is on level ground, okay. In the picture, they have theirs on three. Does it say? Okay, yeah. On the picture, they have theirs on three. Hello, everyone. So my camera died, and that gave me time to figure this out, and also to eat dinner and get spaghetti all over myself because of the baby and how he had it all over himself. Okay. Moving on, um, I figured this out. So you can recline it in a couple of different positions. You can put it all the way to five, you could do four, you could do three, two, or one. And I think for our purposes, we're just gonna do two. Well, make sure it's in the right position. Two, because I don't think he would be at a one and three, looks maybe to that brain. So I'm just gonna do two, and um, I'm also gonna take out these newborn inserts because he's not a newborn any longer. So I'm just taking out all of that. So these would be the newborn inserts. Um, well, how old is he? He's about to be one years old. Oh yeah. Next month, well, on the 23rd. So, um, Pretty much, this is what it should look like. It does say custom fit position, which I have to figure out. I guess you can like make it taller. Oh yeah, yeah, you can make it taller, you can make it shorter. Um, really, I guess it just depends on your baby. Um, Bubby is a little bit more on the taller side, but I guess we'll see how it fits for him. I like that this is like this though, because he is a little longer. So it is cool that we have the option if he gets that we can raise this up. Sorry, I'm like looking over to show Justin because he's seeing it for the first time as well. So, pretty much, this is it. Um, the thing that I learned from looking at the instructions is that under here is a strap and on the sides, so you have this side, um, you have to pretty much pull this red thing and it takes takes this thing completely out and you do the same thing on the other side there's an identical red thing to pull and it takes this one out if you've had a car seat before then you know that you attach this to the car so this part attaches to the car you buckle it in and you use this system right here to shorten or elongate this little seat belt here almost this belt here and it's really going to make it that much secure for your child and make it so that it is tight enough for them and it's not like super loose on the seat which I really like we'll be using it rear facing um, because he is not for like old enough he's not over 50 pounds so we're gonna leave it rear facing. I'm just so happy, it looks so comfortable for him. There is some like styrofoam and stuff in here, but I think that's a part of it. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. I didn't read anywhere of it telling me to take it out, so I'm just gonna leave it. Doesn't seem to interact badly with anything, so. We have all of this together, and then I'm just gonna show you the comparison. Pretty much the size comparison is this. Um, even with the base on it, I feel like this does look bigger. You get different perks with travel systems, do your research, but I think this is worth it. Um, the only thing is, is that, I mean, you have to take your baby out of it. I mean, you're not usually 
carrying this thing around. This usually stays in the car, whereas though this, you can easily just connect this part and then detach it so that your baby can, you know, sit in it. So that's why a lot of people prefer travel systems. They make things easier. Um, I honestly think that I'm really happy with this. And I cannot wait for Bubby to get in it and try it out. Um, if you want to tighten the straps on this, you just push this down here, this piece down, and you pull this. It's pretty standard because you have the same kind of situation on here. Um, you, put, you push it down and you pull it. Same kind of situation. But I just wanted to give you guys a size comparison so you can see the difference. Again, this goes all the way up to 120 pounds, whereas this does not go up that far and you're going to have to buy one that will fit your child, you know, your child's growing requirements. So this is not a long term option. This is all the way from newborn all the way until, you know, 120 pounds. So I'm really happy with that and the last step of this video is just to show you guys Bubby in his new car seat um we are done with this one <laughs> so we got our spaghetti boy right here i was reluctant to put him in his new car seat with all the spaghetti all over right with all the spaghetti <laughs> i was reluctant because i didn't want to get it all messy but it's pretty dried down um he's going to bed right after this so i'm gonna put him in here so you guys can see what it's like no bowl. <laughs> no, no. Wow, you're a big boy. You're a big boy. All right, let's see how I want this to be on him. So he's like, what is this contraption on? You got these <laughs> little pads here. Then under his booty, he's not very cooperative today, guys. He wants to touch and explore. <laughs> he's getting mad. <laughs> Hey, and then you just kind of can tighten this and he can lay in it. He would lay his head <laughs> there. Maybe have jump step. So since he's so little, you would leave it jump. at the lowest part. And yeah, so that's pretty much how Bubby looks in his new car seat. He looks like he likes it. It looks great. It looks way better than the last one. <laughs> that one looks like it's for like like eight pounds compared to this one. Well, yeah, he was eight pounds. Yeah, <laughs> right, when he was born. <laughs> and he really needed a new one because, like Justin was saying, he looked really teeny <laughs> tiny. He looked compact. I mean, <laughs> it was really teeny tiny for him. He looked really big in that little car seat. So I'm sure he'll like this a lot better. And it's going to be rear facing. So when we're in the car, he'll be like this. And he'll be sitting. Hi, buddy. Hello. 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 Well, <laughs> I hopefully. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm not going to lie. The flash wasn't on for the last part. It's fine. Because he's not having it. And it's time for bed. And he's ready to eat. So, thank you for watching today's video. Um, <laughs> I know Bubby's going to enjoy that car seat. He's going to grow with it. It's going to be really good for him. I would encourage you guys to go and get it because it does seem like a really good investment, um, to be honest. And, yeah, I'm really excited for the future and for him to get a lot of use out of his new car seat. So, Thank you. If you guys have this travel system, let me know how it, how it's been working for you guys. And if you don't and you want to try it, you have questions, when I figure the answers out, I will definitely respond to your questions. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. He just, like, dug his nail in the back of my flesh. You know, it's all mo motherhood. Um, so I'll talk to you guys in the next Bye. one.